information they know they recommit to you and that's where it's love right so there's admiration and there's love okay hope you are all well good to see you again so this is my sort of first ever I guess mini vlog where I'm talking about my trip to Wales it was a five and a half hour drive guys where I went to support one of my little brother uh, Boaz um, who just started this organization called Men of Valor where they help men, boys, uh, create sort of spaces where they can share, learn from each other. And we went to Wales. Now, for those who aren't based in the UK, Wales is this sort of remote, leafy part, I guess, um, of the UK where people, a lot of people from the cities escape to Wales to see sheep, uh, to see grass, and that's so you just kind of like go outside and play with grass for a bit. Okay, so we just arrived in Wales, five hour drive because of this man. Yeah, and we are here because uh, Boaz, who I love deeply, is my younger brother. Um, not blood. Um, <laughs> Jacob. Oh, Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Jesus. Title. <laughs> He's got this uh, retreat he does for, for men. Um, and it's a chance for them to recap, recuperate, recover, look forward to the future, be rejuvenated. A really great safe space is great for guys. Guys, <clears throat> and I'm doing a little talk tomorrow about reviewing your year. So I've always told Boaz that, that I support what he's doing and I've always looked for the opportunity to really support him. And so uh, going to Wales seemed like the right opportunity, right? So there's going to be a bunch of guys there and I was meant to go there and talk to them all about how to properly review the year and how to sort of plan for the new year. So we drove, we stopped off at different uh, places to get food and then when we got there it was so late it was something like 10 like almost 11 I was shattered but we got there why have you started this, this thing um, just because we felt that men had a lot of spaces in university where they could connect mm -hmm. um, have a kind of a bubble um, and a community where they could grow together but you come into the working world and it's difficult for them to actually grow um, connect be disciple, disciple other people. So we just thought, why not create that space for men to be vulnerable with each other, where brothers can be brothers, and yeah, they can just grow in their journey with Christ. So that's why men have about to start. It, it's literally been a five and a half hour drive. I am shattered. It's currently what's that? Twelve o four. Twelve o four. He slept on the journey. I drove like an Uber driver. Patrick <laughs> over there. I've been battling some demons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after we got there, we went straight to bed, of course. Um, I woke up early the next day to see them sort of talking, doing sort of Bible study in the room. It was really, really cool. Little bit of a fun fact is this was actually the first, where they were holding this event, was the first place I used to hold events in back in 20, uh, sort of 15, 16, when On Mission first started. So I've been looking after that organization for almost 10 years now. So I've been going to this place for 10 years and here I am now seeing one of my sort of uh, younger brothers in the same place. So it's really beautiful to see. Okay, so we're here, it's day one. I'm now about to do the session with the guys. And the main thing we're gonna be tackling today is sort of how you frame your life. You know, there's a quote I heard once that the most important part of a picture is the frame, right? Because the frame gives you that restriction, that limitation, so you can actually see what's art and what's not. And so everyone's normally super fast during the year. There's a lot of things happening. And for a lot of people, I think, when they think about the year, it becomes a bunch of just events and things that have happened. So in this session, we're going to just press pause and just consider how to really I guess arrange all the different events that's happened in the year so we can spot trends, we can spot kind of um, uh, patterns and we can start to plan better for the next year. So that's all it is. Um, but it's, it's special because it's just guys. It's us getting really vulnerable about where we failed, where we've succeeded. We'll talk about maybe where God has showed up, what God has rescued us from. And I'm hoping it'll be a real space of introspection and just growth. So let's, so let's go! After I got everyone together for my session and got them in, I just started speaking to them all about 
it's just how to review the year. I mean, the goal was to deliver a workshop, but for some reason, I don't know why this is the case. Anytime I'm asked to like do like a workshop or something, the minute I start talking, people just have questions. So for the whole period, it was just the guys asking me questions about all sorts of different things, everything from finance to life to how to think about it. It was a bunch of things, but I think it was impactful. It was really, really um, good. Lots and lots of time to sort of just talk and, and um, it just made me think like we need a lot more male only spaces. Um, I think in society, a lot of men have a lot of expectation. People expect a lot from a lot of guys. Um, and so this was a sort of male only space where, where men could be boys and just be kids and you know, run around, be silly um, and not have that sort of female gaze and expectation at us. So I love that. Um, you know, we, we spoke, we played some table tennis, you know, we, we just did lots of fun things and, you know, it was a long drive and I had to the next day literally leave straight back. But I, I guess one of the most powerful things I left with was this idea or this reminder, sorry, that community is everything. Um, we, we just weren't made to be alone, right? And I think you know, on this channel, I'm going to be talking a lot about self-development, right? And how to grow and level up and all these different things. But honestly, there's like one secret source. There's one like secret, you know, best kept secret, if you like, that's going to supercharge your growth. And it's just being rooted in a community and just you know, being around people who know you. You know, I think there's sort of two choices we get when we're sort of growing and we're kind of doing our thing is we can either keep people at a distance and so they can only ever admire us, right? So when you keep people at a distance, what they can do is admire you because they don't really know you. So they look at some of your features and they go, hmm, she's cool, he's cool, that's great. But of course, if you wanna be loved, you have to invite people in to get to know you and then with all the information they know, they recommit to you and that's where it's love, right? So there's admiration and there's love. And I think what you get in communities and why they're so powerful for men especially is because in community, men can actually be loved. But when, you know, there's distance, then all, all men can really be as admired. And I think love is better than admiration. So yeah, do with that what you will. But it was a really good, good, good time. And I'm looking forward to doing more of this in the new year. La 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 la